Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the first episode of a series I'm going to do on dog training. Okay, and the purpose of this is for me to actually teach you guys how to train your dog appropriately. It's something that just people don't really have a lot of information about. There's a lot of bad information and misinformation out there. And there's also um, a couple different ways that you'll hear arguments about what's more effective, what's less effective. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on positive reinforcement only. Okay, we're not going to use any negative reinforcement at all in any of the, tra the training or techniques because it's not that you can't dissuade a behavior through punishment or something like that. It's that it's not the most effective way. It's not a humane way. And the problem is it's going to lead to unintended side effects like anxiety in the dog, uh, weird OCD-like behaviors, or unwanted behaviors in general like aggression. <laughs> now, we're going to start from when you first get your dog. Okay, what are the first things that you do? Okay, and I'm going to try to serialize this in a way that makes sense. Okay, but today's episode is going to be on when you first get your dog, how do I start to develop a relationship with the dog and how do I start to move towards positive training? Okay, so with that in mind, we are going to introduce a clicker. All right, now a clicker is just a tool to help the dog learn faster. You do not need to use a clicker. Instead of a clicker sound, I could use a marker word like yes, okay? Something that is the same tone, usually a positive tone every single time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to condition the dog to hear the sound and expect a treat, okay? And now that's gonna be how I start to work on positive behavior, okay? So we have our clicker, all right? I'm going to wrap this around my wrist, okay? Easy access, all right? I'm gonna switch the leash right now. And now what kind of treats do I use? As far as I'm concerned, it's uh, you're going to have to try to figure out the treats that the dog likes because you want to have a high value reward, something they really go nuts for. And we're going to use that for teaching new tricks. And we're going to use that for uh, reinforcing behavior in stimulating environments. OK, and you need like a medium to low value treat, something you can kind of dish out. Although low value is something we want to avoid if we can. So today the treats we're going to be using are his favorite. OK, we've got some uh, some warhead cubes. Okay, and the first thing you're gonna do is get your dog, okay, and you're gonna do a lot of like slow introduction, introducing of the leash, slow introducing of the collar, because you really don't want them to resent the collar. Okay, so just to take a moment back, okay, something you should do is you should introduce the dog to the collar, and you should let them sniff it and look at it, and then you give them their treats. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> he wasn't ready for that. But you're going to give them their treats as they show interest in the collar. And don't just try to put it on them right away. And something you would do is you would click the collar and then you would give them a treat afterwards. Hey, listen, this is for educational purposes only. So here's how we're going to condition the dog to uh, know what it means when I use a clicker sound. Okay, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> if the dog doesn't want the treat... You just don't, you just wait, okay? Or maybe the treat's low value. Oh, no. Now, what I'm looking for when I'm doing this, okay, after a lot of repetition, and maybe not even on the first day, it could be over the course of multiple days, I'm slowly introducing to the idea of clicker and reward training, all right? What I'm really looking for is when I make the sound and the dog looks to me like they're waiting for a reward. <laughs> That's actually what we're looking for, because now the dog's starting to get the concept. And after that, I'm going to be able to use the clicker in order to uh, reinforce behavior that I want. For example, is let's say the dog is kind of let's say let's say the we're dog teaching is a, what? we're teaching a trick. Okay, so go ahead and uh, get on all fours. All right. So this is the dog, and I want to teach him how to sit. Okay. Well, the thing about clicker training and positive reinforcement is. It's not about the word we're going to use. We're going to use lots of different words. You can use pizza to use to recreate sit, okay? But we're going to introduce also uh, lure training and a lot of different concepts, okay? So with lure training, okay, now that I've got him introduced to the clicker, what I want is to get the food near the dog's mouth, okay? 
And the dog's going to want to bite it. He's going to want to do it, but don't actually let him get it. Okay. The dog will follow the treat. All right. And I'm going to use that to lure his body into the positions I want. For example, I want him to go into a sit and he's on all fours. Okay. So the way to teach a dog sit, you get it by his mouth. He starts to follow it and you guide him up. As soon as his butt touches the ground, there's the click, there's the treat. Okay. You notice I did not say the word sit. Okay. The word doesn't have any meaning yet. And I wouldn't say it after he's down and I wouldn't say it before he's down. All right. What I would do is as I'm luring him into these positions over the course of m multiple repetitions, it could be 20 or 30. Okay. As soon as his butt's touching the ground, sit. And I want him to associate the word with the action he's already doing. So once his butt's on the ground, I can start to say sit. All right. Now imagine over the course of days and weeks, you know, we got our dog back in position and you have to be careful. You have to kind of pay attention on when to introduce things like this. Okay. Get out of your sit. All right. Now I could try to just say the word. Okay. So sit. If it doesn't work, you lure them back into position and you remind them of what they're supposed to do. And that's very common to have mess ups like that. And it's okay. All right. But what I want to be careful, I don't want to overuse a word. I don't want to say sit, sit, Come on, sit. Okay, I want one word, and I want him to associate it with action. Okay, and learn that he's not supposed to ignore it, essentially, by not really giving him an opportunity to ignore it. Now, let's say I wanted to teach, all right, the hand gestures at the same time. So a lot of people used this for sit, okay? And the hand gestures, uh, there, there's better ideas out there and there's worse ideas out there, but the dog can learn the word and the gesture around the same time. So for, for riddle, it's here, all right? Birds, snappy, sit command is, there we go. And that is your first lesson on how to train your dog. Bye, have a great time. They're treats. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in your mouth. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I'm doing the really crying. Should we establish the safe word now? No. Bird doesn't get a safe word. <laughs> I didn't expect this when I woke up today.